Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 25, Corrosion Allowances. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Corrosion. Okay. My question is whether as a mechanical we provide the corrosion allowance or who is responsible for providing the corrosion allowance? Who is who will like to respond? User, client. Right. So you can see here also. User. Yes. Process engineer who is a kind of designated agent. You no. Know, who has been designated the role of client. Okay. So either the client which is actually maybe the user, you know, or his designated assignment, he has assigned somebody to find out that. So those are the people who are responsible to provide corrosion allowance for to us as a mechanical engineer. So when it, the design has come to us, the corrosion allowance should be given. It's not our duty to find the corrosion allowance. You should understand it. Okay. So if it is not given, ask the client or the process department or the user okay to provide the corrosion lines we are not the one who should give the corrosion lines okay this is what code is saying i'm not saying that okay now if user had already a similar equipment and it was in service for a long period of time and he saw no corrosion occurring in that case, he may decide to say that no corrosion allowance is required for this service. Okay. So once we are getting it from the client or user, we are okay. We'll just write corrosion allowance zero and do the calculation. Right. So these are the second point, which is there. Now, the third point is uh, about telltale hole. You might have heard of it. What is the use of telltale hole? So if you see the figure one, okay, just concentrate on figure one. The white part is the pressure part. Okay. The blue one is the corrosion allowance. Okay. Telltale hole is provided at the opposite side of that corrosion. Okay. So if you can imagine this is the thickness, the black line which you see that is the hole so telltale hole is actually a hole provided opposite face of the corrosion lines and where till where it will be given till where that corrosion lines starts so let us see if my nominal thickness is 18 mm and 3 mm is the corrosion lines so for remaining 15 mm that will become the depth of this hole depth of the telltale hole. Now, what, what is the reason for it? Why we want to give? So the purpose of this is that when all the corrosion which was intended for the service, you know, corrosion lines is a kind of prediction. You know, it cannot be accurately predicted. There are lots of softwares now based on the service data which will predict the corrosion lines for different services, but it cannot be considered 100% accurate. So we have to keep on monitoring that corrosion allowance. Okay. So these are the means through which we can control also. Like if the corrosion allowance has completely gone, okay, if it has completely corroded, the telltale hole will detect a leakage. Okay. So telltale hell hole will detect a leakage and this leakage will tell us that corrosion has whatever corrosion allowance we have provided that is gone and now we should replace the pressure vessel getting it either replace or repair whatever you know we have to do it's, if it's very locally that corrosion has happened then we may decide to repair it okay but best way is to make a fresh vessel that is the first use of telltale hole Okay, so uh, Ranjit is also writing that scaping 
the arrested air during the welding that is a vent hole you know that is not actually the telltale hole that is also a hole which is very similar to this but the purpose is to you know remove the air which is entrapped okay. so first use is to tell the corrosion you saw it in the figure one the second is that instead of corrosion allowance there may be lining right so lining also may get corroded okay or damaged so when that corrosion happened same philosophy will work for here also you know we'll connect a telltale hole which will tell us that now there is no lining and you should replace that part okay that is the second use now the third use there may be o-rings you know with two o-rings if a flange is connected okay in between these two o-rings i can have a telltale hole okay so once that first o-ring if it fails the leakage will happen and it will go to the telltale hole okay so there are two o-rings one o-ring has failed the leakage will go to telltale holes and we'll come to know that one of the gasket has failed then we'll shut off the operation we'll replace the both the o-rings okay, and then again we'll start so before complete failure we'll come to know that something has gone wrong and we will get the chance to rectify it okay so that is the purpose of telltale hole Great. there is one more point about drain you know so as a design engineer we have to always remember that at the lowest point of the pressure vessel we need to have a drain okay a nozzle for draining okay so always at the lowest point like that is the reason we sometimes we keep a little sl uh, slope for that pressure vessel so wherever the lowest point is we'll drill a hole okay and connect it with a nozzle so always we should provide a drain and that should be at the lowest part of that pressure vessel okay so um, amol is saying uh, el specification call for telltale holes see that is a hole for vent but many time people call it as a telltale hole Okay, so RF pad, whenever we are welding or doing testing, we can use it you know, for that time. Okay. So it works both for testing also and for leakage of entrapped air also. Okay.